So, I uh, had a friend ask me the other day, where do you go to recycle computers? And I said, uh, you're talking to him right here. Give the old computer to me. So that is what he did. And this is the computer that he gave me. Let's take a look at it. So here we have a 2014 model of the Acer Aspire V5. Um, so this is a pretty cool machine, uh, originally launched with Windows 8, uh, but has been upgraded to Windows 10. So I was told uh, when I originally received this machine that it had not been really used recently. Um, it looks like it's still in really great shape. Uh, I mean, outside of the stickers, um, definitely no signs of, of damage, no cracks, no really like no scratches. Um, even when you open it up, um, I mean, outside of a little bit of dust, this machine is in some great condition. Um, definitely what you're looking for when um, trying to find a, a used machine. It also lights up um, around the keys. That is called backlighting. Oh. Yeah. Before he did leave it with me, uh, we did reset it. I had to leave it overnight to reset um, just because it was running so slow. Um, so I tried to do a few things. The hard drive was spiking at, at 100%. Um, it was taking a really long time, which this one does have a mechanical spinning hard drive. So the hard drive is no longer good. So we're going to take a look at that real quick. Um, and see, kind of diagnose and see what we got here. So you hear that real loud click when the hard drive does turn off. Probably also not a great sound. I'm not 100% sure. That might have been it. <laughs> uh, running a full reset might have been all that uh, this hard drive needed. Wait, I'm going to try vulnerable. <laughs> was that it? <laughs> no. That was the bubble that you got? I guess. <laughs> All right. So it did do some Windows updates. Finished that. Um, took a really long time. So honestly, I, I got logged in here. And again, that took a super long time. The first thing I want to look at is Task Manager. Um, this will kind of tell you where your system is bottlenecking, what is going on. Uh, performance wise so you can see again just how long this is taking um, something some part of this computer is uh, is going very slow is being used to a hundred percent and we're gonna try to figure out what it is as soon as it loads up so disk usage is at a hundred percent and as of right now um, there's not even like a ton of stuff using it so the fact that the computer is at 100% disk usage without anything running, um, that is not a good sign for that hard drive. So I have put on this uh, Hiren's boot disk. Hiren's boot disk. Yes. <laughs> um, so that is some software that will uh, allow us to do a, a quick hard drive test just to ensure um, that that is really where our problems are coming from. Ew! Slide number. <laughs> All right, so here we've got Hiren's boot CD. I'm gonna go into utilities. All right, so I'm gonna use uh, Western Digital's Data Lifeguard Diagnostics here. I'm gonna be the first viewer, everyone. You guys won't. Let's run the diagnostic. Let's run an extended test and uh, see what we get here. All right, so now it's averaging, looking at about two hours. So, all right, so maybe we'll, uh, we will cut the cameras for right now. We'll let this run for a little bit and let you know what we find out. Wait, can I do something? What do you need to do? A few hours later. We let the Western Digital Data Lifeguard Diagnostics run 
and I'm not sure if you can see it there, but it says too many bad sectors detected. Uh, I'm going to hit OK. Looks like it made it 26.2% of the way through before it had too many sectors, which means the hard drive is no good. To Micro Center! And we are back. So I picked up a new solid state drive. Um, this is a standard uh, two and a half inch solid state drive, 256 gigabytes. It is smaller than what is currently in here, more than enough to do the job, as well as much, much faster than this standard spinning drive that is currently in this computer. I also decided to pick up another stick of DDR3 RAM for this machine. Um, another four gigabytes added to the current four gigabytes will give us eight total make the machine much more usable for more than just one or two tabs of Chrome at the same time. So let's get to work on these and we will uh, see what our computer looks like after that. First thing we're gonna do here is take out all of the screws on the back um, and grab the hard drive out of here and then I will go and put both of them into a, uh, into a different computer so I can make a copy um, to the new hard drive so that we don't have to reinstall Windows, anything like that. I don't know why there are so many screws on this thing. Usually it's... Usually I'd be, be done by now. Alright. That's all of them that I can see, at least. Let's see if this bottom comes off. All right, no hidden screws. Perfect. So there is the inside of a laptop from 2014. First thing we can do is uh, we can take this RAM and just pop it in there. So you only actually see uh, you don't actually see a stick of RAM in there currently. Um, this one has that first four soldered onto um, the motherboard and then can take an extra stick. So we theoretically could have gone with an eight gigabyte stick of RAM and uh, bumped this up to 12. But honestly, again, I imagine this computer is only going to be used for um, internet browsing, email, uh, maybe some documents and pictures. I can't imagine we're going to need more than 8 gigabytes of RAM in here. I don't actually know how this is being held in. Yeah, look at that. And just pops out right there. That's it. There is uh, nothing holding that in other than the back of his. So just like that, we have our old hard drive, we have our new hard drive. Let's go plug them in and make a copy. So, fun story, I usually use a software called Macrium Reflect to, uh, to swap these hard drives around, but unfortunately, this one was so uh, bad that it is not going to work. Um, it did not want to clone with that software, so we are gonna put the new drive in here and see what we can get done. So either way, we've got the new hard drive in there, got the new stick of RAM in there. Let's get this all put back together and see if we can't get Windows installed. <laughs> I debated not filming this part and just taking the previous video of removing all the screws and reversing it, but here we are. And we are back together. Let's boot this up and see what happened. I know one of these has Windows 10 on it. I don't know if it's this one or a different one. And you know, to be honest, I probably should have tested this before I put all of those screws back in because if this doesn't work, I have to take all those screws back out. So here's the hoping. I have Windows 
10 installed on this uh, USB drive and we are going to get it installed on the laptop. Hopefully this is the last thing that we are going to need to do to get this laptop up and functioning and hopefully it is going to be functioning definitely better than it was before. All right, so we completely reinstalled Windows 10. This might take several minutes. That is why we time lapse. And welcome to our desktop. Check it out. We are up and running. Let's Let's check real quick uh, task manager, make sure we've got eight gigabytes of RAM. Eight gigabytes of RAM is installed. So that's fantastic. Check out this usage on our solid state drive, no longer pegged at 100%. I, I can't wait to try this. I'm gonna try to do Windows updates and I'm excited that it is actually going to run now. This computer is uh, is running great already. Um, I, I th This took me an hour to do the last time I booted this computer up um, and tried this. So the fact that it is going now, um, this computer is going to be working great. So it's pretty simple to take a failing hard, something as simple as a failing hard drive out of a computer. All you really need is a couple of extra flash drives, really, um, and another working computer, uh, and a screwdriver. That's really uh, what you need to get something like this working again. I did upgrade the RAM as well, but you saw how simple that was. Anybody can upgrade the RAM as, as long as your system will take it. It's pretty simple. A couple of simple upgrades like that can make even a 10-year-old laptop feel like it is almost brand new again. Big thank you again to my daughter who is here for the first part of the video, Amelia. She is a big help for creating, uh, editing, filming, and even watching all of these videos. She is definitely my biggest subscriber, so shout out to you. Thank you so much, Amelia, for being so helpful. I don't know what I would do without you and I love you so much. Thank you for watching all of my videos. Have you upgraded your laptop recently? What do you think about this 2014 machine? Would you use it today? Let me know down in the comments and uh, we will see you at the next video.